Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a different type of video. I'm going to be filming a plan with me and my mini happy planner and I'm going to be using this fitness kit that Sweet Kawaii Design came out with, I want to say like a year ago, but I thought I would try this out and use my mini happy planner sort of like as a fitness planner because I'm trying to get back in shape for the summertime. So let me open this up. We're going to be planning for the week of May 15th through the 21st. So I am just going to pull these inserts right out, which is the great part about having an arc system. And we are just going to make some room here for everything and we'll get started. All right, just wanted to make sure everything was in focus. So here's the stickers that I have and they're like in this mini format. So this first one is like measurements, hydrate, workout vitamin. Then we have this sheet, which has like salads and smoothies. Then we have these weigh-ins and hydrate trackers. We have these meal stickers. And then we have these little like workout stickers here. So let's see, I think every day I am gonna put one of these. Um, and that's probably gonna be, I'll do like, so we'll say Monday through Friday with those, I guess. So let's put one of those down on each day. And like I said, I was going through my stickers and I was like, you know what? I've never used these. Let's see how they fit in the mini happy planner. And this was a bundle that she came out with at one point. I can't remember when, but sorry about that guys. The memory card filled up, so I had to delete some footage. But yeah, I figured I would try using this planner as a fitness planner because to be honest with you, I haven't really used this planner at all since I bought it. I just find it difficult to use two planners at once. So I thought it would be cool to try and use up these stickers so I could show you another way to utilize your second planner if you have one. So usually I don't work out on the weekends, but I can still use those to track my hydration. And I'm gonna use one of these measurement ones, I guess on Sunday, because it's the end of a week. So let's see here. Let's do these meals, I guess. Um, I'll put one of these every day. Kind of put these like in the middle. And you get a couple different colors, so I'm just going to go down each, line this up kind of so they're similar. Just go down the one side, and usually I only care about my meals like Monday through Friday. On the weekends I don't really track anything, which if we're honest, I probably should be, but I'm not. So we'll just kind of use, we'll just do that. Definitely not on Sundays. We never track anything Sundays. Okay, so we'll do that. Then I will use these little dumbbells, I guess, to mark what workout I did. And then I'll also use these steps. So I'm going to turn this sideways just for now so I can try and line these up right. So let's kind of go like this. And if you guys are big into planning, how do you plan or track your fitness? Do you have a separate planner you use? Because I know Mambi or Mambi, they have a fitness planner, but I never picked it up. So I'm curious if you guys just plan everything in your Erin Condren planners. Do you use a separate fitness planner? Do you do it all on your phone? I'm just always curious to find out how other people track their fitness. For me, I just right now I'm planning using my Erin Condren, but I figured I would try and use this, these stickers up because I have them. Okay, and let's go back to the other page and let's just put in these steps. On average, I usually get We'll put this to the right side here. I usually get around three to 5,000 steps a day. Um, Cause I'm usually like when I'm at work, I'm usually walking to meetings or just in and out of the building. This is not gonna be like straight at any means. Um, so usually I get up to like, like I said, if it's, a, if it's a slow day and I don't have a lot going on, it's usually not that many. But if it's a more busy day, then closer to 5,000. And that used to be the same in my old job too. I was always walking 
among the campus to do things. So, okay. Let's just lay this side by side. This is actually turning out really cute. Um, let me just use, eh, that's okay, let's just do that. Um, I do have hydrate on each of these, so I'm not gonna put these trackers in. And I have that there, so I'm not gonna use anything on this sheet. But there's some cute like motivational stickers, so I think I'm gonna try and put some of these in here. I'll put these like in this corner, just to kind of use them up. So yeah, like I said, right now I am just trying to get back on track with everything. I know I've been saying that for a long time, but I finally am back in the groove at work and I have a pretty, my schedule is pretty consistent now, so I don't really have to like panic if I don't get a workout in every day or uh, it's, it's, it's not as unpredictable, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay. Is there anything else I can put in here from these sheets? I don't think so. And if you guys are curious, I work out at home and I usually do beach body workouts because I have their beach body on demand. So I have access to all the different programs. So here's how this turned out. I think this is awesome and a great way to use these stickers in, your, in a personal planner. So let me just pop these back into the planner. Um, this divider you can get at your local Michaels and you probably can order it online as well. That's just where I found them. So let me put these in here. And yeah, so that is gonna be it for this plan with me in my mini happy planner. If you guys wanna see more of these, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and do them. But otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Have a great day, bye.